India is closely eyeing a new study started by Embraer for developing C-390 special mission platform that will be used for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions and will also be armed with weapons. Hindustan Shipyard held the steel cutting ceremony of first of five fleet support ships that are scheduled to be delivered to the Indian Navy from mid-2027 onwards. India and UAE have begun working on the first stage of the Middle East Trade Corridor with protocols allowing fastest clearance to consignments. Canadian media has reported that an official investigation into the allegations of foreign meddling in Canada elections has concluded that India didn't try to interfere in the Canadian politics. However, the Canadian intelligence agency found that China did interfere in Canada's last two elections. Greek military chief visited the defense industrial complex including the tower to advanced systems and Bharat Forge, and the visiting delegation were briefed on latest indigenous weapons and ammunitions. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India interacted with Israeli Deputy Defense Attaché, and they discussed potential areas of cooperation and export vision. India is deploying 16 new military and defense attaches from the Army, Navy and Air Force to several countries to boost defense exports. That includes Philippines, Armenia, Poland, Tanzania, Mozambique, Djibouti, Ethiopia and Ivory Coast. Ethiopia is inching closer to become the first African country to procure a defense platform from India, and a potential deal is expected to be finalized by mid-2024. Hindustan Aeronautics and Larsen and Tubro will deliver the first industry-built PSLV rocket by the end of this year. In the U.S. Executive Steering Group meeting commenced at the headquarters of U.S. Army Pacific in Hawaii, and the Indian side was briefed upon the capabilities of the Lightning Academy and Aviation Brigade. Officials have said that the DRDO is actively developing a distributed aperture system for the AMCA program, which will be a network of high-resolution infrared sensors strategically placed around the aircraft, that will continuously scan the surrounding environment, providing the pilot with a complete 360-degree spherical view, and the pilot can detect and track threats approaching from any direction, even those hidden behind mountains or cloaked by darkness. As the deliveries of the much-anticipated six Apache attack helicopters to the Indian Army are set to begin next month, plans are already underway to procure an additional 18 Apache helicopters for the Indian Army. This intent to acquire more Apache stems from Air Force's refusal to transfer any of their existing Apache to the Army, despite the Army contributing funds towards their purchase. The DRDO is all set to initiate research and development on the new 125mm smoothbore auto-loading main gun for Indian Army's futuristic main battle tank, that can fire a wider range of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds and laser-guided missiles to a range of up to 12 km. The fabrication of the 175 km range star supersonic target missile is in advanced stages, and it will be ready for developmental trials later in 2024. Star will be powered by liquid fuel ramjet engine, and will have a speed exceeding Mach 2.5, that will allow surface warship crews to train for effectively detecting and engaging incoming supersonic anti-ship missiles. There is also a possibility of an air-launched variant of the Star for the Tejas aircraft, that hints at its use as an anti-AWAX and anti-radiation missile, while a ground-launched version with a booster for extended range is also under consideration. Today's Top 3 Comments